Welcome. I'm Isaac Mizrahi, and I'm here talking to the fabulous Susan Fells Hill. Susan has written a beautiful book called Imperfect Bliss. It's a novel that has been referred to as kind of Jane Austen meets The Bachelorette. What I want to ask about is, you know, the situation. What I know you have a background in television production, yes, right? Absolutely. Um, do you watch a lot of reality television yourself? When The Bachelor was coming on for the first time, I had just left my TV career. Then when The Bachelorette was coming on, or The Bachelor, sorry, was mm -hmm. the precursor, uh, I was walking around the house saying to my husband, it's the fall of Western civilization. And um, a cut to a week later, I was snuggled up in bed, <laughs> glued to the television. Right. <laughs> I do feel that there is a distortion of courtship that is happening as a result of these reality shows. I mean, women totally. and men are being marketed. You know, it's 25 girls in a hot tub yes. for one schleppy guy. Fame is seductive. I mean, it's, and everybody wants to be famous. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I think that for any of us, if we did get swept up in a TV reality show, eventually we would get seduced. And even the main character, Bliss, who's Miss Intellectual, Miss Feminist, I'm hearing my sweats, getting my PhD, I don't have time for this, when she's in a luxurious setting, in a five-star hotel. <laughs> I challenge anyone not to be seduced by a five-star hotel. Yeah. Uh, she gets swept up. Yeah. You are very private about the men in your life, my dear. So talk about that. You a haven't plied me with enough expensive. <laughs> exactly. <Let's> get, <laughs> All right. We can go to a bar after this. Yeah, we should. You know, I just love men. And I, love, I love Italian men, but there's so many men that I've slept with and they don't even know it. Oh, wow. So I people my books with all the men that I've slept with, but they don't even know it. What I want to talk to you about is the level, this kind of novelist that you've become. Well, I've always wanted to write novels because mm -hmm. it's my favorite literary form. And uh, who are some of your idols besides Flaubert is an Flaubert. idol, Balzac, Balzac, and my all-time favorite is uh, Dickens. Dickens. So I'm probably offending every woman out there, and of course Austin. And Austin, but, yeah, yes, exactly. But uh, I, I like the dead white men. <laughs> <laughs> Henry James is right. another. Oh, you're and <laughs> I have a final question for you. Yes. This is about guilty pleasure. Yes. Who is a novelist that I would never guess? Because you started by saying Flaubert and, you know, Dickens. Well, actually, they were actually serialized writers. They were serialized they were like writers. candy no. bonbon writers. And they probably wrote yeah, longer exactly. than they needed to. Is there a little Jackie Suzanne among the collection of Not Susan Fails Jackie, Hill? but Jackie Collins. <laughs> right, exactly. There's definitely okay, a Jackie. You got There's it. always ja a Jackie. She said it. <laughs> she said it. There's a Jackie There's a Jackie, 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 Jackie somewhere in your There's always past. a Jackie in your past. I knew it. Not I just Jackie-o. <laughs> Well, thank you, Susan. That was really fun.